Good afternoon, everyone. We're going to start in just a minute. We're going to have a few more people join us since I know everyone wanted to participate in this fun rubber egg experiment today. Right, so grab the kids and make sure you do have the supplies that we need. So I'm gonna do my own little experiment also. So you can have one glass jar or two. I am gonna use a store-bought egg as well as a farm egg to see the difference between them. Hey Brayden, no Brielle today. I also do have my vinegar that I had in my pantry. And then I also do have a marker and some blue tape just so I can tell the difference in the eggs if I don't pick one of the blue eggs and I do pick one of the white ones. So let's go ahead and get started and head inside of the chicken coop. We'll learn a little bit about our chickens. And then towards the end of the video is when the experiment is going to happen. Oh, okay. We'll let her know we miss her. So at the end of the video, the experiment will happen. And we have Amber right here. Looks like she's about to go pick some of the eggs for an incubation project. All right, so here is our chicken coop on the farm. We also do have turkeys in here. There are many different types of chickens One of the most popular right here is our white leghorn chicken. And then here's another one coming right now. So these are the most popular chickens and the ones that can lay the most eggs. So they can lay anywhere between 100 to 300 eggs per year. And they typically start laying those eggs at about four and a half to five months old. And as you can see, if I were to get close, you'd be able to see the white earlobes. So they do lay those white eggs. <coughs> Gotta watch out for those roosters. All right, so let's go find one of our other popular chickens. It is the bantam the old english bantam so those are oh here one is right here those are the smaller types of chickens hey savannah hey aunt shelly so there are 28 varieties of colors that are recognized as this old english bantam chicken and they are the tiniest that we do have in the chicken coop, so they're easily identifiable. In the old English Bantam chicken, they do lay white tinted eggs and they are the tinier eggs, of course. They're originated from Great Britain, where the white legged horn, those actually are from Italy. Tuscany, Italy. And then believe it or not, this is an adult sized chicken and they only weigh anywhere from three to about five pounds. And then we do have the turkeys in here. I do want to find one of my favorite chickens though. A lot of people confuse it with a turkin or a turkey, they think it is half turkey, half chicken. Here it is. So if you can tell, it's neck right there. We call these the naked neck chicken. We also refer to it as a turkin, but no, it is not half turkey, half chicken. It is just the breed. They are a dual purpose chicken, so they can lay their eggs and they also can be used for meat. And their eggs are actually the light brown color. So if you can see that earlobe, you'll be able to see what color eggs they do lay. You 
did go right inside. <laughs> Have you seen a silky this morning? Silkies, they're all over there. Oh, okay. All right, so now we're gonna grab an egg. Let's see, are there any eggs left? <laughs> Ooh, we'll take this blue. Almost dropped the egg. There you go. So we just did get our egg right here, and now we're gonna walk over to our experiment station. Amber, how many eggs did you get this morning? <laughs> Amber got so many eggs this morning. Seven dozen. Seven dozen, wow. So the warmer weather surely does help all of the chickens produce and lay those eggs. Amber just got seven dozen. And then I grabbed one. All right, so now we're gonna head over to our experiment station here on the farm. And then we're gonna get started on the experiment. So grab the kids, grab the experiment items we'll get started hi everyone how's everyone doing today i'm super excited to start experiments on the farm So to get started, we are gonna need glass jars just because the vinegar may break down the plastic in the cups. All right, so to get started, I want everyone to take their egg. And if you do have farm raised eggs, that is totally okay. Make sure you do label it. So grab that egg and place it inside of your jar. Right now, I, I am gonna label that this is my farm egg because I personally wanna see the difference between the farm egg and then the egg that we do get from the store. Go ahead and grab that lid. All right, farm and then store. So this experiment is gonna take just a couple of days, so be sure to tune in every day at 11. I'd say until maybe Friday or Saturday, depending on how big the egg is. So right now I do have some white distilled vinegar. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up and then add it to each of my mason jars. Now you do wanna fill it so it does cover the egg. The egg is actually going to absorb the vinegar, so you do want to pour a little more than you think you would need. There you go, I'd say so maybe about half. Good morning, Paul. Hi, Jody. All right, so there's my farm egg. And then I'm just gonna put the cap on it. And then let's go ahead and get that store egg all secured. Make sure you do post pictures throughout the next couple of days. I would love to see the kids at home getting the experiment ready this morning, sending pictures and videos to us on Instagram via DM or Facebook, or just emailing it to the farm office at huntclubfarm.com. So that is it for the experiment. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna wanna take your mason jars, your glass jars, or any type of jar that you did have, and you're just gonna wanna set it aside on the counter 
make sure you do start a little log for the kids or the kids start a little diary. So this morning we're gonna say the egg was nice and round and white and that the vinegar was clear. Tomorrow we will check in, we'll see what happened to the egg, what the vinegar is doing, and we'll see how the egg is doing. It is called the rubber egg experiment, if that gives you a little hint or if you have done it before. So we will check in tomorrow at 11 and then also on Friday. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll get a live stream up around 2 p.m. for you. And then if you can't make it, then be sure to join us for Bedtime Stories with Conrad at 8 p.m. I hope everyone had an awesome morning and we'll see you this afternoon.